Hey guys, Paul here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna show you a new product for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. It's the smallest SUV unit that display most of the information you need right in front of you when you drive. And this is probably the most affordable, smallest, and the easiest to install for your Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. Today we're going to um, take a quick look of um, the products, what comes in the box, and then I'll show you the whole installation of this product. After that, we are going to test the products and see how it looks in my Tesla Model 3. Let's go. Now let's open the box and see what comes inside this box. So here is everything in the box. One, two, three pieces here in the box and the instruction uh, manual here. This is the display itself. Really, really small. And this is the wire to connect to the plug or OBD plug here that we are going to plug into the car. So this is actually a pass-through plug. So we have to um, plug and then plug OBD ports from the car and this will take the information from the car to that small display. And it came with the plastic trim remover so we can use it. All right, now we see everything in the box. Um, let's go install it in my Tesla Model 3. Before we start the installation, you'll need this plastic trim removal tool. But if this is not enough, um, I got this trim removal tools from Amazon. This is about $8 and it's really, really useful for a project like this or your future project. I'll put the link in the description below for this products on Amazon. And also one more thing, you will need a clear tape. And I'll show you later why you need this clear tape and hopefully this help with this installation. All right, now let me show you how and where I got this product from. I got this product from tlar.com or T-L-Y-A-R-D. Dot com. They offer many accessories for our Tesla models and this SUD unit is $119 but with special discount code you will get 15% off and the total would come out to be $101 that's included tax and free shipping so this is an awesome deal for this unit. Now let's continue with the installation. Okay, first thing that we have to do is to remove the plastic trim right here. It's behind the center console and it's an area of the footwell of um, center passenger, rear center passenger seat. Um, the reason I said this SUD unit is the easiest to install because now we don't have to actually access that um, underneath the glove box to the main MCU unit um, to get the data from the car. We can just get the data uh, from this area right here. Now let's remove this panel. Okay, so start from that corner top part. There's no screw in here, so basically just all the plastic clips that clip on to the inside. it all right um, now we are going to um, access the data from this plug right here um, but before we do anything or unplug anything um, we have to turn off the unit first we'll turn off the whole system first let me show you how so this is how you turn off the system you go to the main menu right here and then go to safety right there you see power off just hit that power off and then 
the system will turn off. Are you sure you want to turn off the power? Press foot on the brake to turn the power back on. So as long as you don't step your foot on the brake, the power will still be off. So to be safe, um, you need to turn off the power first before you unplug and plug in that port in the back. Now let's power off. There you go, now it's off. Now we can do the plug and plug in the back here. So first get that um, pass-through plug that came with the product ready. And now we are going to unplug this way right here. You see this is a clip right there, unplug. And then we'll insert that male plug into this female um, pass-through port. And then plug this male, this side, back in here. Okay, let's do that now. Okay, let's unclip. There you go. And then we'll clip it back in. Right there, and then we'll plug plug the male part in here again. As you can see, see the male back in here, and the female back in here. Now the system um, connected again. Uh, we could just uh, turn it on, but I'll wait to turn it on until we finish the project first. All right now. We have to run this cable to the side panels to connect to the one in the front on this side right here and then height on the bottom push the panel back in make sure the clips is aligned where it's supposed to go like that you just pop it back in this part is done now let's install the display in the front now we try to power the car back on since um, we already plug and unplug the cable put my foot on the brake then the car should be on there you go as you can see the car is back on there, all the power is back. I can use this. All right, next, we have to remove this panel right here to install the display. Okay, now let me show you how to remove this side panel. It's really simple. So use one of these plastic removal tool and then insert to the top area because the, there's two clip here and one clip here. So. Let's undo those two clips on the top first. There. There you go. You can just pull it out like that. Make sure those metal um, clip holder stay in place. Okay, before we install the small display um, into the dashboard, remember that clear tape that I mentioned before? Now this is the time we are going to use it. So I'm going to use the clear tape and then you see the cable here so if we put it just like this um, you might be able to see the cable through the air vent so um, I'll just try to hide the cable in the back of the display a little and then have it come out like this to the back of the air vent and see this if this helps at all so I'm just gonna tape it like one tape on the top and then make sure this cable stay in the back and one tip to the bottom just like that so the cable will um, display going like this the cable will go in the back instead of popping out to the front and and then we'll install this one and then we'll see how it works okay so before we install the display inside the air vent um, let's insert the cable on the side panel right here first so as you can see the cable is flat, right? You go up vertical first, then go in, and then you can pull the cable in. You can see, now it goes in. So now we don't see the cable going overlap this part right here. 
Now let's um, try to find a good spot for the display. We can adjust the cable, we move in and out. Okay, now let's try to center that display. We can use this logo right here to center the display to the steering wheels and we're gonna push it in. Okay, so now you have to kind of pop this um, top part open a little and then we can just insert it in at center to the steering wheels you can adjust however out or in you want it and now we kind of hide the actually hide the cable um, a little bit better than we're not taping it I think it's working right now and it's not blocking the AC vent which is great now we're done with the display, let's pop this panel back in. Three spots done. Okay, now I am going to run the cable underneath the trim right here and then go underneath the rubber seal on the side door, side of the door, and then go down here underneath the rubber seal. You can see here, and then we are going to um, stop right here this and then we're going down and under the carpet and then cross on that side and then we're going to plug in to that um, pass-through cable that we did earlier from the beginning As you can see now, the cable is all hidden underneath the trim. And then just pop this piece open a little to get the cable in um, underneath the carpet, this part of the carpet of the car. And now we're going to um, go to the back and show you how to plug it in. So basically, I put it through right here, go underside of this plastic trim right there, just hide inside and then go around and come here and I can just uh, basically just put it underneath the uh, floor mat when I connect these two cables together okay now let's connect the two cables together just like that then connect the two cables you go you can see the information as you can see when it's parked it's showing the percentage of the battery and show the gear where the gear is it's in park right now let me reverse so show reverse and then um, neutral there and then drive really really cool and really sleek you can't really see um, anything there and then like it's kind of hiding in the air vent and it doesn't block as much air vent as uh, most of the display or um, gauge cluster out there for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y as you can see right there um, the, actually the clear tape really helps a lot to hide that cable show you there you can't really see the cable um, inside the event anymore all you see is that little screen in front of you and it's right in the center it's always there when you drive um, let's go test it out when I drive okay let's go test it out so now I'm, I'm in park and it's only showing the battery percentage which is the same over there 38 percent and now let's drive. See now it changes to um, the mile per hour. Let's go drive around. I really like how it's hiding in that spot but you can see it clearly. I think the the size of 
the letter or numbers is it's perfect. I mean, that's all you need. Right in front of you, the speed, and then turning. Emergency light right there. You see, it's working. This is awesome. Like from here, seriously, you can't really tell. Um, there's like a piece of um, a screen there, and you can keep that whole clean look of the interior of Model 3 and Model Y. So this is what it looks like at night. You can't really see um, that it's something there. It looks like it just built into that um, dashboard of the car. Wow, I really like how this SUD unit uh, turned out and look in my Tesla Model 3. So it keeps that clean design and simple design of Tesla Model 3 and Model Y and doesn't block the AC at all. And this is actually perfect for me because all I need in front of me is just speed, signals, and also battery percentage. So if that's all you need for your car, then this is perfect product for you and it's really really easy to install this is the simplest and less time consuming to install so far it took me less than probably 35 minutes to install all of this and this is the lowest cost i have seen so far in the market this is about a hundred dollars with that discount and also included with the tax in that price with free shipping too so if you are interested in this product, I'll put the link in the description. Also special discount code for you. Thank you so much for watching today's video guys. And don't forget to click like if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel and future content. We'll see you on the next video.